He that believeth, he that believeth, shall have an everlasting life. He that believeth on the Father and the Son shall have Amen. Yes, I got it. 
Praise the Lord. Like I said, I just, Lord, if I had enough strength, I would sing that song and sing it till I get my soul happy. Right. Praise the Lord. Because that's just the way I feel it. Right. Amen. But I just don't feel the strength to sing it the way I want to sing it. Praise the Lord. But he that believeth on the Father, yeah. amen, and the Son shall have an everlasting life. May the Holy Ghost glorify Jesus. Amen. And bless the will of the Lord be done. Amen. For a few minutes as the Lord shall lead. We call your attention to the book of um, John chapter number 3. Amen. Verse 14 and verse 15. John chapter number 3. Verses 14 and 15. Yes. The words of the Lord Jesus Christ. There's a saying whenever you read your Bible and you see the red letters, amen, that is Jesus speaking, yes. amen, or Jesus spoke these words when you read your Bible, it said the red letters, amen, are the yes. words that were spoken by the Lord Jesus Christ, All right. praise the Lord, and it says in verse 14, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, mm -hmm. even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, yes. that whosoever believeth in him mm -hmm. should not perish, but have everlasting life. Can we say praise the Lord or eternal life? Amen. Amen. Eternal life, everlasting life. Amen. It's the same meaning. Yes. Praise the Lord. I just want to use for a thought today, eternal life right. or everlasting life is in Jesus Christ. Amen. Everlasting life or eternal life is in Amen. Jesus Christ. Yes. We see here the Lord Jesus as he continue his conversation with Nicodemus. Mm -hmm. Nicodemus was a ruler of the Jews and he came to Jesus by night and he said, Rabbi, mm -hmm. We know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest, mm -hmm. except God be with him. Right. Jesus began to tell Nicodemus, except a man be born again, mm -hmm. he cannot, he cannot. Mm -hmm. amen, see the kingdom of God. Very, very, I say unto you, except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, yes. he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. He said, Marvel not, I say unto you, that you must, must be. be born again. Mm -hmm. Look around today, many folks don't believe in being born again. That's right. But in order for someone to go into the kingdom of God or have entrance into the kingdom of God, it comes through a birth. All right. Praise the Lord. And that birth must be done through the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And you can't be born again if you have not repented. All right. Praise the Lord. You first got to repent. Got to repent. Amen. Repentance is a state or change of the mind. Uh-huh. Praise the Lord. When, when someone say if they repent, I've given this example before, if you're going north yeah. and somebody say repent, amen, you turn around and then you go the opposite direction, which is south. All right. So repentance is a changing of the mind. Yes. Amen. In other words, you're deciding that you're going to give up your old ways. Mm -hmm. Amen. That old lifestyle. And then you're taking on, amen, the life of Christ. Man. As the Bible said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Mm -hmm. All things are passed away, behold, all things become new. Yes. Praise the Lord. You got to be born again. Must be. Amen. You must be born again of the water. Amen. The water representing, amen, the death, burial, and resurrection. We bury that old life. Yes. Praise the Lord. And when you get in Christ and you bury that old life, amen, you rise to walk in the newness of life. Yes. In other words, when you get in Christ, there's a new lifestyle. Yes. 
Praise the Lord. And somebody said, the places I used to go, mm -hmm. I don't go no more. All right. Praise the Lord, God. The things I used to say and I used to do, I don't do it no more. Do that no more. Because it's a new life in Christ. All right. Praise the Lord. When you get baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. Amen. I want to say this. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, amen, you ain't got no life. All right. Praise the Lord. You see, someone can be baptized in Jesus' name. Yes. But if they have not received the Holy Ghost, yes. they don't have no life. No life. Because the Bible said, amen, it's the spirit that giveth life. Yes. Jesus said, the flesh profited nothing. Uh -huh. But it's the spirit that gives eternal life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And Jesus went on to say, amen, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Uh -huh. Even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Amen, be lifted up. Uh -huh. Jesus began to draw
they can't do it, we can do it too. All right, all right. But you see, fret not yourself. All right. Because of evil doers. Mm -hmm. Don't be envious against the workers of iniquity. Yes. In other words, sometimes you face things in life, you know, you want to get even. That's right. That's, right. That's just our nature to get even. That's what we do. That's what As somebody said, you kill my dog.
lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Yes. Now I want to talk about why he lifted up the serpent. Let's see why he lifted up. Get me. Numbers chapter 21. Verse number 4. We're going to close out in a few minutes. And they journey from Mount Moriah. The children of Israel journey from Mount Moriah. By the way of the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. To come past the land of Edom. And the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way. The people began to murmur. They began to complain. Why God leading us this way? Yes. Isn't that the way we are sometimes? Yes, we are. We want to ask God to lead us, but when he begins to lead us the way he wants to lead us, then we begin to murmur and complain. I don't think he should lead me, you understand, in this direction. Yes. But once I ask God to lead me, whatever direction he chooses to lead me in, praise the Lord. Read on, you do. And the people speak against God. The people speak against God and against God. You see that? The people. Yeah. Now I'm not talking about people in the world. No, I'm talking about the children of Israel. Yes. Spoke against God and, and spoke against who? Moses. Well, who is Moses? Moses was the servant of the Lord. Yes, sir. Moses was the leader that was leading them out from where Egypt, but they got upset and got mad at God. And then they got mad at who? Moses. Then they got mad at what they said. Man, it's the same thing happened to their churches. All right, Bishop. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you preach this Bible, you got people in the church mm -hmm. that get upset with this book. Yes. Yeah. 
into the motive of your heart. All right. And God going to deal with everybody. Every man. Praise the Lord. I don't care who you are. I don't care who your name is. Praise the Lord. Amen. You might be a professor. Mm -hmm. But God said, I'm going to deal with the motive of your heart. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. God said, I know your heart. Why are you murmuring? Why are you complaining? Why are you mad at me and mad at Moses? Yes. What wrong did I do to you? What wrong did Moses do to you? I hear your cry. I heard your murmuring. I've got to deal with you. All right. We all get to send fiery serpents. God said, fiery serpents. And the serpents begin to bite the people. And what people of Israel died. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God, God will kill you mm -hmm. in order to silence you. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Oh, oh hallelujah. God will kill you yes, in order to silence you. Yes, you Did he do it? Yes, he did.
to the door. All right. And if we humble ourselves, yeah. huh? If my people are called by my name, humble themselves. Yeah. Pray. Yeah. Seek my face. And then Bishop may be got to turn from what? His wicked ways. Let me just say this. Ain't no wicked way in God. Oh no. If there's any wicked way, it's in us. Amen. Turn from your wicked way. Then God said, Then will I hear from heaven. Yes. I'll forgive your sins. Mm -hmm. The most blessed people on the earth is those whose sin has been forgiven by God. Amen. Did God forgive your sin? Mm. I got 20 million dollars, mm. but you're a millionaire, but you're a sinner. What good you are a millionaire, but yet a sinner. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Your sin is going to take you to the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. And all your money you got, all your education you got, can one penny deliver you out from the lake of fire when you get there. Moses did? 
Moses prayed for the people yeah. that God would take away death. That's what Moses prayed for. Yeah. That God would remove death. Yeah. Praise the Lord. You know death can come knocking on your door. Mm. You get the man of God or the people of God to pray for you. Mm. Whether it be a family member at the point of death. Yes, Lord. And they send requests to the church. Pray for me. Pray. That's right. Baby. Tell Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Send you home to what? Die! Oh, that's what the doctor did to Bishop Armand Bailey. Yes, he did. They said, ain't nothing we can do. Oh. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. But the words of the late Bishop Bailey looked at Bishop Bailey and said, ain't no telling mm -hmm. what God will do. All right. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Sure enough. Listen, I thank God for doctors. Yes. And if something wrong with me, yeah. you ain't got to tell me to go, man, I'm gone. Yeah. No matter how much faith I got, yeah. when I realize I'm in this fleshly body, mm -hmm. when this body begins to go through, boy, die! Yes. I, I'm setting up an appointment. Yes. Because faith is obedience. Yes. Praise the Lord. I'm going to see my doctor. All right, Bishop. Because this earthly building mm -hmm. is falling apart. Yes. All of you beautiful looking young people, mm -hmm. y'all keep on living. Mm -hmm. All you handsome looking young fellow, keep on living. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And see what happens to you as you age. All right, now. Praise the Lord. That which was going north yes. began to go south. All right. Is that right? Amen. You can't run like you used to anymore. Oh, you could have run spring, but now you got to. Amen. You got to pay yourself. Yes. Uh, do a little here and do a little there. But before you had so much strength, you can run and do it all. Yes. But now you just can't do like you used to do. Right. But keep living. You want to get to a place where you learn to recognize. David said I was young, mm -hmm. but now I'm an old man. Yes. Don't worry. Keep living. You can get old. Mm -hmm. And guess what's going to happen to you if I keep living? I'm going to get old too. Is that right? Amen. We all going to get old if we keep living. And as you get old, my friend, things changes. Yes. Is that right? Amen. But no matter what changes, praise the Lord. David said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. All right. From where it's coming, my help was all of my help. Come and pray from the Lord. Yeah. Read on, Deacon. Come on. And the Lord said, So the Lord told Moses, mm -hmm. make a brazen serpent and get a pole. Set it upon a pole. And put, this is the pole, get a serpent yeah. and put it on the pole. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. Everyone that is Anybody out there that get, bit. that get bit by the serpent. When he looks upon it. Wait, listen. Only those that got bit yeah. got to look. You know who got beat? Those that murmured, mm. those that complained, those that spoke against God, and those that spoke against Moses did not believe God's promises. They got beat. Yeah, but if they look at the brazen serpent uh -huh. that Moses put on there, because God told him to put it. If they do that, they're going to what? They're going to leave. Mm -hmm. In my closing, God allowed the man by the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. to be put on the cross. Praise the Lord. Yeah. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so shall the Son of Man be what? Lifted up. And he said, if I be what? Lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. All right, man. You want to live? You better get Jesus. Yeah, yeah. You better look to Jesus. Yes, yeah, Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. You want to escape God's judgment? You better look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Stop looking to your money. Mm -hmm. Money got wings. Mm -hmm. They're going to fly away. Yeah. Stop looking to family members. Oh, listen, ain't no one will look at the family. Yeah.
But what about your soul? Praise the Lord. Can you look to your family and be saved? You know, I realize my children can't go with me because I decide to go. They ain't got to want to go. They ain't got to decide. I want Jesus for myself. Not because my father is a pastor. I want to get saved. I want to get saved because I love God. And I want to serve him. Mm -hmm. And if you love God and you want to serve him, you want to escape the judgment. You want eternal life? Eternal life is in the sun. All in the sun. So anybody that don't have the sun, let me tell you right now where you are. Amen. You're abiding under the wrath of God. Under the wrath. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. He that had the sun, you got life. He that had not the sun, you ain't got no life. But the wrath of God abided on you. You may have all this world have, mm -hmm. but my friend, do you got Jesus? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Don't tell me how much money you got in the bank. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. How many cars you got? Good. Wonderful. Yeah. But the question is, what does it profit a man? Mm -hmm. No, you gain this whole world mm -hmm. and lose his soul. Mm -hmm. And again, what will you give in exchange for your soul? Yes. God is not worried about all the material things. God is wants you to think about your soul. Amen. Get your soul right with God and do it when? Now. Now. You understand? It's the acceptable time. Yeah. Now is the day of salvation. Stop putting off on you know what? I get straight. Mm. I get right. Just give me time. Mm. That's a trick of the devil. Praise the Lord. Because he'll keep you up there and get you deeper. Mm -hmm. And when you try to get up, you can't get out. Last week you was only what? A foot deep? Mm -hmm. And you're staying in sin. Now you're 20 feet in. Now it's worse to get out. Amen. When you get a chance to run for your life, run for your life. Run, run. Somebody used to say this, I'm running for my life. If anybody asks you, what's the matter with me? Yeah. You tell them I'm saved, yeah. I'm sanctified, I'm Holy Ghost filled, uh -huh. and I'm fire baptized. I got Jesus on my mind, and I'm running. Now run, run for your life. Praise the Lord. Your life depends upon you right now. Obey the word of the Lord. Yes. Give up the word and say, I decided to follow Jesus. I, I decided yeah. I, I'm going to follow him. Mm -hmm. The road going to get rough, the going is going to get tough. Yeah. And the hill is going to get hard to climb. Yeah. But saints of God, remember what Jesus said. Lo, I am with you. And I'll be with you always. In the midnight hour, Jesus will give you peace. When the devil want to mess with your mind, the Lord will give you peace. Praise the Lord. How do you know, Bishop? Because he's done it for me and he's still doing it. Oh, yeah, sometimes the devil want to talk to my mind. Oh, yes, you think because of a bishop he got respect to a person? I'm number one target. I know that. Praise the Lord. But you know what I do? Okay. I memorize the scripture all right. to chase away the negative thoughts. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Because yeah. all the negative thoughts is going to do is going to make me deep yeah. and sink deep yeah. into what? Stress? Yeah, that's right. Depression? Depression? Mm -hmm. But one thing I remember, God's word said, I will keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on me. So I focus my mind on the word of God. And the more I keep it there, the more free I feel. 
the more liberated I feel. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And once I begin to stay here, I begin to experience the freeness of the Lord. Because whom the Son set free, they are free indeed. He that believeth on the Father uh, and the Son yes, shall have everlasting life. Believe it, my friends. Believe it. You will what? Have everlasting Who wants everlasting life? Amen. Who don't want to live forever? That's right. Praise the Lord. Amen. I invite you, my friend. Come and get Jesus. Yes. Praise the Lord. Look to Jesus. You're going to be all right. Is that right? Look to him. As this woman would sing that song, I got a feeling everything's going to be all right. I got a feeling everything's going to be all right.
For when it's coming, my help, Lord, my help don't care. I feel all right. I said, I feel all right. Oh, hallelujah. Let us stand. Oh, hallelujah. Uh, when you leave this service today, uh, you, you leave with this song. This song. Yeah. Elevate your mind. Elevate your mind.
Thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.